Hey everybody, it's Wes with Alien Comics. Hi Wes. Hello. Back with another uh, CGC unboxing. If you don't know what that is, we got a box of CGC, which if you don't know what CGC is, CGC is a grading company that grades comics. So they take uh, comics that we send to them and they encapsulate them for a fee and tell us the grade of the comics or the condition. Um, and I have no idea what's in this box. So we're going to find out together, which is always fun. Yay. Um, and again, we had some, some comments on our last video, which really helps us out. But if you could please uh, give us more comments, um, it really helps us out. Even if you just say, I don't like any of the comics you opened. Anything, it really helps us. You can comment about anything at all. Yes. You can even tell us your favorite superhero. Or what you had for breakfast. We would love it. It really helps us continue to do these videos. So I'm going to go ahead and open this up. See what goodies we got in here. Uh, and again, as always, uh, these will be available for in-store customers or our Instagram live sales. Follow us on Instagram if you want to purchase books. It's very easy to do that. Uh, we make them, we price them out usually within a day. And then you can send us a message if you're interested or you can even comment below if you're interested. Imagine that. Amazing. Amazing. Um, so, go ahead. And we have an invoice, which is great for <laughs> holding. Uh, we've got X-Men 136. Uh, awesome Phoenix. Ooh, how do I get rid of this A1 glare going cover. on? Oh, here we go. Um, <laughs> yeah, 96 white pages from 1980. Awesome Burn and Claremont. Let me go ahead and put that down. Thank you for being my, my cameraman, Rich. Ooh, oh, one, of, no problem. one of my favorites, X-Men 141. Days of Future Past. Yep, 92 white pages. I've got a 141 and 142. Um, this is my favorite cover of the two by far. I absolutely, I remember this growing up, seeing this multiple places and swiped. Uh, very cool. Love the John Byrne art on that. Uh, X-Men Annual 14. A debatable first appearance of Gambit, and I know White Pages. The cameo, but he's in multiple panels. Um, and this is uh, more affordable than X-Men 266, which is considered his first appearance, but it's, again, debatable. X-Men 11, ooh, this is significant because this is the second printing um, shipped with the X-Men board game. That was ooh. the only way this came. Silver ink cover, 70 White Pages, very scarce. Um, 7 0 so affordable uh, in high grade. This does get pricey because of the scarcity. Uh, awesome Jim Lee Wolverine cover from uh, the early 90s, 1992. Ooh, what if number 10, 96 white pages, first appearance of Jane Foster as Thor, out of continuity, uh, but still, this is uh, the, the kind of the money book that got popular with um, Jane Foster being announced to be the next Thor in the MCU. So, Nine six white pages, book from nineteen seventy eight. So Sweet. not yeah, not bad at all. Here's a book a lot of people are going to be familiar with right off the bat. Wolverine one limited series nine six white pages. Awesome Frank Miller cover. Uh, Chris Claremont story. This is arguably the book that started defining Wolverine's kind of um, personality as we know it today. Like kind of a bad boy. Cover swipe to death. As yeah, well. cover swipe to death. But for good reason. It's a classic cover. And then more. Yeah, and then another Wolverine uh, one. This is from his ongoing, so his uh, unlimited series. First Wolverine is Patch, nine four white pages. And then there's a back pinup uh, by John Byrne. There you go. And a John Bushima cover, standing on a pile of bodies. Also has been cover swiped a few times. Not as much as the, unli or the uh, limited series. And if you like that, you're probably like this. We get asked about this book all the time. Bitch! <laughs> yeah, Wolverine 8, 9, 4 white pages. Uh, this is Mr. F Mr. Fixit in a classic Hulk and Wolverine cover with a cool pinup on the back by Rob Liefeld. Uh, feet look okay. <laughs> so, same. If, you know, uh, what is it? Um, credit where credit's due. X Factor 6, first appearance of Apocalypse, 9 6 white pages, screaming head cover. Um, this is a great first appearance, uh, 1986, so Copper Age first appearance of a major X Men character. Um, it's kind of affordable considering, you know, it's a, he plays a large part in the X Men lore um, and more affordable than Magneto's first appearance. Oh. 
X Factor 24, uh, 9 6 Y Page's first appearance of Archangel. So, when Angel becomes Archangel, one of Apocalypse's horsemen. So, a nice minor key uh, for X Men that is affordable. So, again, a lot of X Men keys. Angel is actually one of the first original X Men. So, his first true appearance is very expensive. X Men 120, 9 6 Y Page's first appearance of Alpha Flight in Cameo. Um, this is an awesome book. I own it as well. Nine six five pages for a book from 1979 and a pretty major key. This has been a very hot book since there's been a lot of speculation talk about Alpha Flight being in the MCU. Yeah, but you know it's not a hot book. Alpha what? Flight number one. <laughs> yes, true. It's gotten hotter though, actually, believe it or not. Uh, X-Men 129, first appearance of Kitty Pride. This is also a multi-key. So you have the uh, White Queen, Emma Frost, Sebastian Shaw, Hellfire Club. So a lot of keys in this book. Uh, 90 oh, White Pages. I own this book as well. It's a great multi-key from 1980 for the X-Men. And um, it used to be a lot more affordable uh, over the last year. It's spiked quite a bit. Um, but it is kind of, it, the pricing has receded a bit. So it's... It's gone down a little bit. It's still not a cheap book, but in a 9.0, it's not too bad. X-Men 133, 9.0 White Pages, Hellfire Club, Sebastian Shaw, uh, Lifefield, uh, here, Lifefield Periods, yeah. And a great Wolverine cover, uh, 9.0 White Pages, awesome. John Byrne cover with Wolverine just, you know, going at it with these minions here. I'm, uh, I own this as well. It's a classic Wolverine cover in my humble opinion another what if number 10 first appearance of jane foster as thor uh, this one is a 9-2 so again you know pricing wise if you wanted this book but you can't afford a 9-6 a 9-2 there you go uh, and with that movie thor love and thunder just around the corner i think it's the end of this year i think Something like that. it's coming soon um it's a good book to pick up now and here's another x-men 141 this is an 8-0 so again if you've always wanted this book but you can't afford anything over like the 9-0 threshold. And 8 is still a respectable book. 8 white pages. Um, you still get a great cover to add to your collection. For you X-Men fans, you Wolverine fans. Um, it looks great. Uh, it's a nice book to kind of like show off to your buddies. You know, that's just my thoughts. Transformers 80, Death of Getaway, Snapdragon, Siren. Wow, Fangry, a lot of deaths. <laughs> so much death. Cory Bowl, Ravage, Neonite's appearance, last issue. Oh, interesting. 9-4 White Pages. Um, so yeah, Transformers. Uh, a lot of the 80s toy properties are also books that over the last year really exploded. 2021 was a great year for uh, Masters of the Universe, Transformers, Thunders Cats, etc. Transformers is not any exception to that rule. They've heated up, um, and that's a great, you know, that's another great key for you Transformers fans. We're just stockpiling Ooh. these here. Uh, first appearance of Boba Fett, Star Wars 42, 90 white pages. Um, yeah. So, 90, again, we've got, I think, 94 and a 96 right now. Um, a 90 is a great way to get that if you're a Boba Fett fan, but not break, uh, break the bank, you know. So, uh, Masters of Kung Fu, 115, first appearance of Death Dealer. I'm assuming that's the guy with the skull mask and the. Haha, <laughs> you would think that. Right? No, that is it. <laughs> that's really cool. Uh, you actually have Shang Chi breaking the little masthead thing here, with all the shattered glass. Nine four white pages, very. It's actually a pretty fun cover. The the early eighties weren't a great time, in my opinion, for for some comic book covers. That's a great cover though. Um, here you go, Marvel Spotlight twenty eight first solo Moon Knight mm -hmm. story. Moon Knight is officially just days away. I think it's next Tuesday, so like a week from now. Um, 80 off white to white pages, great secondary key to a werewolf by night 32. No, congratulations so, to Oscar Isaac. Yeah, he's a great actor, except when he was playing Apocalypse. Yeah, I mean, I think that was a <laughs> script thing. Uh, Marvel annual report number five, 1995 annual market report, and a really cool wraparound cover. That's really fun. Uh, 98 white pages, uh, first time I've seen this. It's pretty cool. Piece of uh, mid 90s comic book goodness for you uh if you want to slice in nostalgia and just a can, slice yeah just a little slice marvel annual report number four 1994 annual market report and a wraparound cover so similar to the last book nine six 
Uh, this one is not as appealing in my opinion. <laughs> oh, I like they have the X-Men animated series on these TVs in the background. Nice. That's pretty fun. Oh. <laughs> yeah. And they made sure to show Bone Claw Wolverine. Yeah. Uh, cool. Guardians of the Galaxy number one. 92 white pages. This is a key because it is the first appearance of the MCU's version of the Guardians of the Galaxy. So Star-Lord, uh, Rocket Raccoon, Drax, etc. Um, this book is actually infamously hard to get in high grade. Um, nine eights, the census are extremely low, um, and it happens to do to do with a. I just think an overall um, the condition that probably Diamond shipped these books to distributors. But nine two white pages. If you're a Guardians of the Galaxy fan, that's really nice. We got two more books, and then we are done. And then Rich is happy because he gets to rest his arms. <laughs> Avengers one eighty six. Uh, 80 white pages, first appearance of Magda and Cthon. Um, yeah, origin of Quicksilver and Scarlet Witch. It's got a really cool cover, too. 80 white pages, um, loved WandaVision. Um, I'm excited to see what happens. I think they're doing a second season, right? Nope. No, interesting. Nope. Her story will be concluded in Multiverse of Madness. Oh, that's true. And lastly, end with a bit of a bang. This is cool. Amazing Spider-Man 238, 90 white pages, Hobgoblin. New, newsstand. Uh, so, first appearance of Hobgoblin, with the tattoos, obviously, otherwise it would be a green label. So, awesome stuff. Great, a uh, lot of books in this CGC box, so I'm glad that you guys stuck around to the end of that. If you can, give us a like, a subscribe, those things help more than we could even express. I hate to beat a dead horse or repeat myself, but um, it really helps us because sometimes we feel like we don't know if we're doing a good job, and that helps us know. Please tell us we're doing a good job. Yeah, we uh, we we uh, thrive on it. Or if we don't, we just we just wilt, right? <laughs> um, and then just find us sad in the in the corner of the shop here. So have a great rest of your week. Thanks for stopping by again. If you're interested in any of these books, leave us a comment, shoot us a message, or come in the store. See you guys later. Bye. Bye.